what are some of the top issues that are happening at the federal level right now that are affecting small business? I mean, the one big thing that we are focusing on each and every day, and, and a lot of issues that business owners don't even hear about, is just the, the regulatory threat, you know, that is that's happening in the regulatory agencies. For example, the Department of Labor has proposed and will be proposing a variety of, of regulations that impact small businesses from changing the whole independent contractor rule to make it very, very difficult for self-employed people and business owners to be independent contractors to the joint employer standard, which would totally disrupt the franchise model in this country to the overtime rule. The list goes on and on. Just at the DOL alone, the Department of Labor, because of the power um, of the labor union sector and with the current administration. So they're using this opportunity to push through a lot of rules that will be very costly for small business and, and very damaging for entrepreneurship in this country. So you take the DOL and then there's other agencies as well. The Federal Trade Commission is doing a lot on the merger and acquisition front to make it it really could disrupt the whole startup ecosystem in this country and make it very difficult for startups to raise money from investors and then hopefully build their business and sell it. Well, if, if they totally upend the M&A um, system in this country, it'll be very, very hard for startups to pursue, you know, um, that dream. So, and then, you know, there's a lot of regulatory activity at other agencies that we're working on as well. In the Congress, again, we have to sort of be practical. So there is, um, you know, you've got some uh, tax measures right now that do have bipartisan support that we have to push over the finish line. One that, uh, one big uh, tax incentive that expired last year was the research and development tax credit that allowed immediate expensing of, of research and development um, expenses. And that basically went away. And you have many companies that use that R&D tax credit and that expensing and that don't even know about this. Um, and then there's other tax provisions too that we're working on. A lot of the things that expire as part of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, you know, the 20%, you know, small business deduction, um, uh, some other uh, expensing provisions, Section 179 expensing. These things have to be fixed or else it's going to be very damaging to small business. And I would argue that uncertainty is happening now, um, which is which is causing a lot of pull, pulling back uh, of investment uh, in 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 hundreds of thousands of businesses across the country. So those are just a few of the things. Healthcare is the perennial issue, things that um, that uh, are happening on the healthcare front, access to capital issues. Once these rules become final, you know, we want to uh, do a, re a resolution of disapproval for these regulations. So we're very supportive of that. Not that we're a Republican or a Democrat organization. We're a nonpartisan organization. Um, but, you know, we just sort of go with what small businesses and what our members say. And, uh, you know, again, um, uh, there's some opportunities of what Republicans are doing in the House to have uh, Democrats support some of those things over on, on the Senate side as well. Maybe it's not robust in terms of tax cuts or regulatory relief, but you know it beats going backwards and imposing more costs right. and uncertainties on small businesses. Right, gotcha. Thank you, thank you for that. Uh, I guess that's really an update. And I think for a lot of people, it's, it's eye-opening in terms of it's not just the things that you're going to read on the headlines in terms of what's going on in Congress that could affect small business. But as you said, a lot of the regulatory issues, which are not congressional issues, these are happening at an agency level. And and again, as, and as I said earlier, we're not even getting into the state and local issues, which I think is sometimes could be even a greater number of issues affecting small businesses in even in a bigger way. I, I don't know if you'd agree with that, but certainly if you're in a place like I am in New York. Oh, yes. Yes, uh, the, all the likely states, right? New York, right. California, Illinois, New Jersey. Yes, I mean we're we're definitely very familiar with, with what hap what what is happening in those states, and conversely, you know all the good stuff that's happening in other states in order to attract the businesses, the capital, the people, right? 
um, because they're providing that sort of low cost uh, political or regulatory and tax environment, you know, that's very enticing to many businesses and investors who live in those high tax, high cost, high regulatory states. Yeah, yeah, understood.